You say like, you know, marrying a truck driver is, is a lonely life. It's a lonely life. It is. If he's over the road. And then it's like, I feel like he got stuck in his ways because he was so used to not being with us that he was so distant. You know what I'm saying? He was distant when he came home. You know, and it was like he had to yeah, find the I, next thing to it do. Wasn't it wasn't about that. family time. It was just about he was always busy. He kept himself busy because right. he was so used to being on the go. Mm. So when he got home, it was the next thing, I got to go. I got to go do this. I got to go do this. It wasn't really no family time anymore. You talking about even at home, he got to go do shit yeah. around Greenville? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can imagine so, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. What did... So with all that going, did you pick up a little friend along the way? I did. Okay. I did. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm real. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. real with mine. Yeah. Yes, I did. While yeah. being married. While being married. Okay, okay. I yeah. did. I mean, it's like I, And I'm not proud of that, but I'm human. You human. And I'm a right. woman. And I, yeah. I know a lot of women who date married, date truck drive. It, that's just something that's gonna happen. The nigga gone, mm-hmm. she need she got needs too, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And women like attention. And women like attention. That's why, mm-hmm. you know, y'all on Facebook, and social media, and mm-hmm. you know, if and I ain't get what I'm getting at home, I need I need some likes. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, but yeah, it, yeah, appreciate, it, brother. So, your friend ain't the reason why y'all got divorced. Absolutely or? not. The divorce okay. was it was over before that. Okay. It was already over. Like, we both knew it was over. You know, it was a discussion. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it ain't like you was just lonely. No, because for years, yeah, I was, was faithful. Already done. Yeah. I was faithful in my marriage for right. years. Right. But like I said, as I got older, became a grown woman, and knew right. what I wanted, knew, what, knew my needs. And you could cry out to a person, but for so long. Right. You know, right. you could cry out to a person for so long. And then at the end of the day, it's like I would tell somebody, a woman, if somebody is coming to you constantly and telling you their needs and what they want from what they need from you, when they stop doing that, that's when you know it's over. Right. Mm-hmm. It's over. Yeah. It's so crazy because it's a thin line. Because when they keep coming to you like that, they get on your I was the nagging nerves. wife. I was, okay, you know, yeah. just, I do. Yeah. That's what I'm the saying. The nagging. Oh, I can't do nothing to please you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's you, not. You I'm have, telling I've you been what there. I need. I've been I'm there. telling I've been you there. what I want. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I say when a woman get quiet and she don't mm-hmm. say nothing no more. When a woman believe me when up. I tell you, she is over it. She yeah. has emotionally... Got herself prepared for it until she moved physically. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That and it, it takes time, but it happens. Yeah. But when a woman shut up, you already know what time it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, it's, and it's a flip side of that coin, too. And like mm-hmm. I always say, when daddy don't give a fuck no more, it's really a problem. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and I think we just both got to that place. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was. At least y'all called it quit sometime. Sometimes it be a bad situation like that, and motherfuckers stay together 10 more bad years. I'm not going to do it. 20 more bad mm-hmm. years. 